He didn't need, he says there, that he didn't need them to open for him to come in or to open for him to leave. And if you notice, we are now limited in this body to be able to enter those dimensions and to be able to see what is in those dimensions. And we need someone to open the door for us. And the door is always the veil. To be able to open those dimensions and to be able to obtain the knowledge and the blessing to see what is in those dimensions. And who is the one that opens that door for us? Faith. The hand of faith, which is revelation. That is faith based on revelation. There with that, it help us to open the door and to be able to pass behind that veil, behind the door, to be able to access those dimensions and thus obtain the knowledge of what is in those dimensions. But already with the eternal and glorified body, since we are already inside, then automatically we do not need, we have already passed the veil in other words, we have already passed to the place where God is going to give us that eternal and glorified body, which isn't the most holy place, which is the dispensation of the kingdom. Because the dispensation of grace gives us the theophanic body. And it is in the dispensation of the kingdom that gives us the glorified body. He can't be in the dispensation of grace that gives us that eternal and glorified body it has to be in the dispensation of the kingdom and it is in the dispensation of the kingdom where we obtain first the knowledge of being able to have that hand that powerful hand of faith which is the one that opens to us we pass the veil we see what God is doing God gave us the rapturing faith which are the ministries of Moses and Elijah the ministries of the son of man with his angels and he gives us the whole knowledge of what there is in the most holy place. And then, when we get to obtain the eternal and glorified body, we no longer have to wait for someone to open the door. That is, to give us the revelation to enter. But we can enter and exit in those dimensions to be able to do the work corresponding to the time in which we are living in that glorified body. The limitation now is, we are limited in terms of working other dimensions because there is a door to enter and since one always enters through the door well one has to enter to work in that place in the place where one goes if someone goes to the supermarket has to go grocery shopping well you have to enter through the door to go shopping if you go to pay the electricity bill well you have to enter through the door to do so you see one always enters a place to do something for which one enters. You go home to spend time with the family and all, and rest, eat, rest, and then you go out the door to go to work. It is always through a door that you do the work. To be able to carry out the work while we are in these bodies, and the work that God has inside the door is to give us the rapturing faith. Therefore, it is mandatory to enter through that door. But we need the help of God, which is the hand of faith, the revelation to be able to open and enter through that door. And then, once we obtain the eternal and glorified body, we don't need any of that, because we already have that mechanism in us, in the eternal and glorified body. And we no longer need to depend on someone to open the door for us but the door automatically comes to be oneself. The door comes to be the chosen one. Because if he says, I am the door, and he is the word, when one is also the word, one automatically becomes the door also. And notice that for eternal life, if one is going to ask for the relatives, notice where that door is also fulfilled in favor of the relatives because then they will enter through you. Look at how tremendous that just came to me now. In other words, it is through 
us as individuals that God's chosen one have the power to make their relatives enter to eternal life through the door. What a thing. In other words, one becomes the door for our relatives so that through one they can enter into eternal life. That is something tremendous and glorious. The fact that God how he shares himself among all his children. In other words, it is the word that is fulfilled in us because we are part of that word. Then we become chosen door because we become a door for the relatives. How great. In other words, since we when we obtain the eternal and glorified body, we do not need someone to open for us. Because since we are, we would already be those veils of flesh. We become doors for, through us, the family members enter. And thus, that is where you can see you see where you can impart eternal life because everything has to enter through a door it has to be through the door which is in that family nucleus the chosen one each chosen one is the door of his family of his descendants today Tuesday, January 24th of this year, 2023, in this talk about what the door is.